and symbol for current is I. Okay? Other ones, we have the fifth one, the fifth uh, fundamental quantities, which is uh, luminous, luminous intensity. Luminous intensity, its unit is candelas. Candelas. And that is CD. CD is the unit. We also have uh, the sixth one. The sixth one is temperature. 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 The unit is either Kelvin, is either Kelvin or Celsius or centigrade. Celsius or centigrade. So the symbol is Kelvin. Or we can see we are having degree Celsius. Or degree Celsius. So the sixth. Seventh one. The seventh one is the amount of substance. Is the amount of substance? Amount of substance. And the unit is mole. The symbol is M O L. M O L. So these are fundamental quantities. Apart from the fundamental quantities, we also have the derived quantities. Derived quantities are quantities that, that uh, uses fundamental quantities to express their dimension. So they are being, their dimension is being, is being expressed by what? By the fundamental quantities. Okay? Or the fundamental quantities combine together to form a derived quantities. So um, they are numerous in physics. There are numerous in physics. We have a force, okay, examples of fundamental quantities. We have a force, examples of fundamental, uh, derived quantities, sorry, derived, derived quantities. Derived quantities. Okay, so one, we have a force. Force, the unit of force, the SI unit of force. Don't forget all these units I'm talking about are what we call international system of units. All the units that, I, uh, that, that you saw that I wrote for fundamental quantities are international uh, system of units. It is this unit that is generally accepted worldwide. This unit that is generally accepted worldwide. Okay, although there are other units for all those, uh, all those uh, parameters, okay, then there's a, a, a general unit that is uh, generally what accepted and generally agreed upon. Okay, let me use that word, generally agreed upon. So now the derived unit we have force. Force is uh, part of the derived unit because it's the combination of the fundamental unit that make up force. Okay. So the unit of force, the unit of force is Newton because Newton is, is the one that uh, uh, worked tirelessly on the study of force. Although he was not the one that first started it, but he was the one that uh, take it to a, 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 a popularity, take the work, the work force to popularity. So, but the original unit of force, the original unit of force is combination of the uh, fundamental quantity, which is kilogram, uh, kilogram meter per second square. This uh, unit is very, very important because without, if someone doesn't know this unit, you won't be able to perform well in a, in a dimension and dimensional analysis. You won't be able to perform well. So you must know that we have Newton and also have kilogram meter per second square as a unit of force, okay? Another unit is uh, velocity. Velocity. The unit of velocity is meter per second. Meter per second. So I'm using symbol to represent them. Meter per second, okay? We also have acceleration. We have acceleration. The unit for acceleration is meter per second square. 
meter per second square, or we can say it's meter per second per second. Meter per second per second. Okay? So, this uh, meter per second can also be in this form, meter and slash second. Because uh, the reason why we have what we call pi, because the, the formula for velocity was in motion, we are going to be having the pi, or as it, uh, we are going to have a quotient in the formula, whereby the pi is uh, as it, uh, the denominator. Okay? Apart from acceleration, don't forget acceleration and acceleration is to gravity have the same unit. Acceleration and acceleration to gravity have the same unit. So we also have the fourth one. Although this is not a Syria, it's not a range Syria alphabetically. Uh, uh, anyone can come first. Okay? So we have a, we have a pressure. Pressure. The unit of pressure is Newton per meter square. Newton per meter square. As we know that Newton is kilogram meter per second square. So that means I can have kilogram meter per second square, then times meter per, times per meter square. So when we have it like that, I got to love in this six, uh, when we are multiplying, we have the power. So but we have a subtraction here. That means I have one here, minus two. We give it minus one. So that if the unit, original unit for uh, pressure is kilogram per meter per second square. Kilogram per meter per second square. We also have density. 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 Density, the unit is kilogram per meter cube. Kilogram per meter cube. Kilogram per meter cube. That is the unit of density. Okay? The reason why I'm dwelling much on this unit is because you can't finish a question and leave the unit unless if the parameter is unitless. Okay? So there are some parameters that are unitless, unitless like the coercion of viscosity, coercion of uh, viscosity, or uh, 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 relative density. They, are, they don't have units. Uh, Many of them like that, we have few of them, not many, we have few of them. Uh, cancer, what's the name? Refractive index, it has no unit. Refractive index has no unit. Uh, strain, strain has no unit, okay? They have no unit. They are unit, but they have their dimension to be one. They have dimension to be one. But they are unit, uh, they don't have units, okay? So, Apart from uh, that density, we can also have, we can also, there are numerals. Let's just say we have a volume. Volume. Volume is meter cube. Volume is meter cube. Apart from volume, we have an area. Area is meter square because the volume is length and breadth and height. So the length is meter. The breadth is a meter, the height is also a meter because we can use the meter only for them. The area is length and breadth only. Okay, so we have numerous of them. We also have work, energy, power, work, energy, power, electric field intensity, electric potential, electric potential energy, we have resistance, we have voltage, we have a specific heat capacity, we have specific latent heat, and so on and so forth. And so on and so forth. So that is what the uh, uh, right quantity and their units are. So this time I'm quickly going to take you to what we call uh, conversion. In physics, we can convert from one unit to the other. We can convert from one unit to the other. Don't forget that before conversion can be made, that's what we call standard prefaces. Standard prefaces. There are some prefaces, uh, standard prefaces that we can easily use for our conversion. For example, we can have the we can have the decimeter, what we call decimeter, when the meter is uh, attached to it, we can have decimeter. So when we have decimeter, we say we are having 10 is per 10 is per minus 1. 10 is per minus 1. So this is a standard, standard prefix. 
standard prefix. So we have what we call DESA. DESA stands for minus one. Apart from DESA, we have what we call MIDI. Sorry, we have what we call CENT. We have CENT. CENT is 10 raised to the minus two. 10 raised to the minus two. So if we want to convert, we use this to either multiply or divide. We also have uh, MIDI. Milli is 10 raised to the 10 raised to the minus 3. Milli is 10 raised to the minus 3. Okay? So we are going to point you to the important ones that are very, very common in your uh, 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 courses or something. So we have a micro. Micro is 10 raised to the minus 6. 10 raised to the minus 6. We have a uh, Micro, we have a nano. Nano. Nano is 10 to the minus 9. Okay? So all this, this the, 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 the symbol, we have a D, we have a C, we have a C. We have, when it's centimeter, we have C, we have CN. When it's decimeter, we have D. Then we have a M, we have a M, we have a, we use this for micro. Symbol for micro. We use this symbol for nano. We use that symbol for nano. Apart from nano, we have a pico, pico beta. We have pico, which is 10 raised to the minus 12. 10 raised to the minus 12. And we use a P for the symbol. Apart from pico, we have a femto. To F is used, is that, sorry, it's 10 to the minus 15, while we use the F for the symbol. So, we also have an uh, Armstrong. The very, most important one is the word I'm missing. We have an uh, Armstrong, which is uh, 10 is by minus 10, and the symbol is 8 degree. It's 8 degree. So these are the uh, important ones. And the, the, the power is to negative. The power is to negative. We can also have the ones that the power are positive. Yes, the power, power are positive. And then uh, we can have this. We can have, we have a delta. We have the decameter, which is uh, 10 raised by 1. Anything raised by 1 is, is that thing. Anything raised by 1 is, uh, uh, that, is the same thing. So that means we have a 10 for deca, and the symbol is D2. That is deca. So when we produce meter, we call it decameter. OK? So apart from deca, we have a hepto. We have a hepto, which is 10 raised by 2. And uh, 10 raised by 2 is the same with 10 raised by 2. Or can you just take it to 100? Like, take it to 100. So, my dad gives us uh, each uh, hepto. Apart from hepto, apart from hepto, we have a, we have a kilo. So the one we used to measure the distance of, uh, of a journey, kilometer and so on. So that is 10 raised by 30, which is a 1,000. 10 by 30 is 1,000. And uh, we use a K for kilo. All right? Apart from kilo, we have a mega. Some of you that usually buy that and you see here the word megabyte, megabyte, megabyte. So, what we are buying, the value of what we are buying is, or the metrics of what we are buying is what I will display now. So, that gives us 10 is by 6. So, you can see we have a 1 MB. <laughs> 1 MB, 1 megabyte. That means we have 1 million of the bytes. Okay? MB is megabytes. So, MB is megabytes. So, mega is 1 million. So, which is equal to what? 1 million. So I will use the capital M of the 
symbol. So apart from mega, we have giga. Giga, uh, one gig, one gig, one gigabyte. So that means we are having a very high value. 10 is by 9. 10 is by 9. This should be a billion. A billion by 1 billion. So 1 billion. So 1 billion. So we use a capital G. The same Apart from big, uh, giga, we have tera. Tera. So if byte is included, that byte is a, a computer uh, terms. We use the term in computers. Okay? So we'll be hearing about that when we get computer stocks. Okay? So tera, we have a term is for 12. And uh, it's a very big value, which is a capital C. So you can easily go from one unit to the other. You can go from one unit to the other. All right? So since we have been able to know the standard prefixes, how do we now convert? How to convert? How to convert? How to convert? from one unit to another. Or from one metric to another metric. Now, we can convert from centimeter. Centimeter is not necessary unit. Centimeter is non SI unit. The SI unit for our measurement is meter. If we start, we are talking about this. So it's meter. So the standard international unit, that's what I'm trying to talk about. The standard international unit. So now we can take centimeter to meter. We can take centimeter to meter. We can, can take gram to kilogram. Gram is not an SI unit, but kilogram is an SI unit. We can take hours, hours, hours to seconds. Seconds is what? Is an international unit. Okay? It's an SI unit. But R, R is not. So we have to take it to start taking there to the uh, SI unit one at a time. Apart from that, we can also convert kilometer per hour to what? Meter per second. When we talk about velocity. Okay? So, now, when converting from centimeter to meter, when converting from centimeter to meter, you have to divide the value given by 100. When converting from centimeter to meter, divide the value given by what? 100. But when converting from meter to centimeter, you have to multiply the value that is given to you by 1. So from smaller to bigger, we divide. Why from bigger to smaller, we multiply. From bigger to smaller, we multiply. Why from smaller to bigger, we divide. When converting from gram to kilogram, when converting from gram to kilogram, we are going to divide the value by 1,000. The value that is given to us. Divide by 1,000. Why when converting from uh, kilogram to gram, we multiply the value given by 1,000. We multiply the value given by 1,000. Okay? So there are other river or, uh, rivers uh, ways. For example, if you want to convert, I told you that when you are converting centimeter to meter, you divide. But when you are converting per centimeter to meter, per centimeter to meter, you are going to multiply by one by one. You are not going to what? Divide. Because it's division. So by, by the time you are dividing by uh, 10 is by minus 2, 
when it comes up, it becomes minus, it becomes plus. So when you are converting all the fat, you have to multiply it by what? Uh, by, you have to multiply. When you are converting fat, for example, if you are converting per gram to kilogram, per gram to kilogram, you have to what? You have to multiply it by what? 1,000, instead of dividing, instead of dividing, okay? Those are the things we are going to consider now. We take some examples. We take some examples. Okay? So convert. Question one. Convert 300 centimeter to meter. 300 centimeter to meter. Solution. Solution. I said this is from centimeter to meter. What do we do? You have to divide by what? By one. So we have a 300 over 100. So this has to be, this has to be. So that means we have 3. Okay? So that's how to convert centimeter to meter. So let us convert. Let us convert. That's question 2. Convert 500 gram to kilogram. 500 gram per kilogram. What do we do? That's a solution. 500 over 1,000. That's where we are converted from gram to kilogram to divide. So by the time we divide it, we have a distance to this. Distance to this. So we are having 5 over 10. So 5 in uh, 10 in 5 is not possible. So we use 0 and point. Then we have 0 to this. So 5 is 50, we have a 5, 0.5 kilograms. So 0.5 kilograms. You can see, that is the basic, basic physics. We are taking the basic from the beginning, from the known to the unknown. From the known to the unknown. Okay? So, we can also convert, we can also convert, uh, per centimeter to meter. Per centimeter. Per centimeter. So we have something like this one per to meter. So when we are going from per centimeter to meter, instead of dividing, we multiply. Instead of dividing. So that means convert, convert 700 per centimeter. To meter. To meter. So that means I'm having one over seven hundred. Sorry, seven hundred per centimeter will now be what? Will now be seven hundred times times one over ten raised to minus two. So by the time it comes up, we have cos is part. Sorry. Okay, so that means we'll be having instead of dividing, we have one over ten is per minus two. Okay, so when it comes up, we have seven hundred times ten is per two. So we give us what? We give us seven hundred seventy five. Okay, seventy thousand meters. So we don't divide, we only multiply. We only multiply. So these are conversion. These are conversion. So convert. Let us convert. Convert five hundred. Kilometer to meter. 500 kilometer to meter. So, let's as we are going from meter to kilometer, we divide. Kilometer is bigger than meter. So, when we are going from smaller to bigger, we divide. But when we are going from bigger to smaller, we multiply. So, that means we have 500 kilometer to meter. We just say solution. Solution. That will be 500 times 
1,000. Because from kilometer to meter is 1,000 and this is conversion. So which gives us 500 times 10 is per day. So we can easily add it. So this is a meter, or we say 500, sorry, 5, 5 times 10 is per 5. So from smaller to bigger, we multiply. We multiply. Okay, let us convert. Let us convert. Let, let us convert 600 micro micrometer to to this to this. Decimeter. 600 micrometer to decimeter. So, what do we do with this way? We are going from smaller, we are going from smaller to bigger. We are going from smaller to bigger. So, 600, that means we are going to do what we are going to divide. So, we have a 600 times 10 is for minus 6. That's a minus six meter, then to decimeter, to decimeter. So if we want to do that, that means we are going to divide smaller to bigger. So we are going to divide by what? By a ten raised to power ten. A ten is a minus one. We are going to divide by ten is a minus one. So six hundred. Times 10 is by minus 6 divided by. Okay, we are going to divide by 10. We are going to divide by 10. Divide by 10. By 10. We give us 600 times 10 is by minus 5. We are going to divide by 10. We are going to divide by 10. So those are ways of conversion. Those are ways of conversion. But if you want to convert velocity, or convert uh, velocity, especially the higher velocity to lower one or lower one to higher one, like kilometer per hour to meter per second, or meter per second to kilometer per hour, we usually use this formula. The formula is velocity in meter per second, which is the smaller one, equals to velocity in kilometer per hour, velocity in kilometer per hour times 1,000 over 3,600. So if you are converting from kilometer per hour to meter per second, we use that formula. We use that formula. Example, let's convert, convert, Convert 500. Convert 500 kilometer per hour to meter per second. 500 kilometer per hour to meter per second. So we record the formula. We record the formula. Velocity in meter per second equals to velocity in kilometer per hour kilometer per hour times 1,000 about 3,600 so velocity in meter per seconds equals to 500 times 1,000 about 3,600 so we can only say we will cancel this, cancel this, cancel this, cancel this. That means I have a 5,000. 5,000 by 36. So five, 36 in 5,000. 36 in 5,000.
So if you divide 5,000 by 36, we have a 139. 139 meter per second. Approximately, about it. Suppose it will be 138.8.9. 138.9. That I don't use approximation. Okay? That's how to convert. That's how to convert. We can also convert. We can also convert mile to kilometer, and kilometer to mile. Okay, we can do that. So other different conversion that we're doing. Okay, let's assume we want to convert area, area, uh, sorry, centimeter square to meter square, which is area. We want to convert centimeter square to meter square. So in this kind of situation, convert. Let's take an example. Convert centimeter square. Okay, centimeter square to meter square. Centimeter square to meter square. So if we want to convert from centimeter square to meter square, we are going to divide by what? By 10,000. Because one centimeter is 100, another centimeter is 100. But that will multiply the, two, two on, uh, the 100 and the 100 together. You're going to give us 10,000. So by the time you are converting from centimeter to meter, you are going to divide by 10,000. Okay? Another way to take this conversion converts centimeter cube to meter cube. So when we are converting from centimeter cube to meter cube, we are going to divide by, by 1 million. Because we are having 100 and 100 and 100. Okay, 100 and 100 and 100, which give us 1 million. So let's also want to convert 3 million, 3 million centimeter cube to meter cube. We are going to divide by what? 1 million, which will meter cube us 3 meter cube. So, the units of volume and, and area are will handle like that. Okay? Apart from this, apart from this, we have another topic in physics, which we are going to consider now. I will call it dimension. Dimension and dimensional analysis. Many people usually find this very difficult, but I'm going to throw more, uh, more light on it now, so that you can have a high knowledge on um, conversion. When I was treating the units the other time, I told you that we have what we call dimension of those quantities. Now, what is uh, dimension? Dimension is very important or is useful to know the unit to a physical equation or physical parameters. Okay, we also use it to know formulas to any parameters. We use it to know formulas to any parameter. We also use it to know the consistency of the physical equation, physics equation, to know the consistency and to know if a physical equation is dimensionally consistent. If a physical equation is dimensionally consistent, for example, we can just say a formula that says that V is equal to U plus AT. This thing is an equality sign, which means that only this V is equal to A, and a uh, T, and A to the and, and U. So only this uh, one is equal to these three things. Okay, by dimension, we can easily prove it and show if it's uh, correct or not. And uh, that's what I'm putting on you in this minute now. So, dimension and dimensional analysis. Don't forget that the first topic in physics is, uh, the first three topic in physics is metrics. We have metrics one, metrics two, and metrics three. 
So the first three topics of physics are all methods. So let's be taking them and we're commanding mechanism one, present mechanism one. And I'll be having it from the beginning of this class. Alright? So we we'll use dimension to work to know the unit to a physics equation, physical equation. We we'll use dimension to know the formula to a physical equation. We we'll use dimension to know if the uh, physical equation is dimensionally consistent or dimensionally correct. Okay? That is what we typically take, we typically take now. Now, if we want to uh, handle dimensional analysis or any dimension, we usually use the, uh, the basic fundamental quantities. Okay, I forgot to tell you that the length, mass, and time are the basic fundamental quantities. You can remember that I told you that we have the fundamental quantities, which is what? There are seven numbers. Out of those seven, there are three of them that is fundamental, where they are length, mass, and time. So if we want to carry out any dimension and the dimension, we usually use the first alphabet of the of those uh, of those uh, parameters, which is length, mass, and time. The first alphabet in length is L. The first alphabet in mass is M. The first alphabet in time is T. So if we want to carry out dimension, and you know, if we want to carry out dimension, we'll be dealing with dealing majorly on the derived quantities because they are the ones that join that the unit fundamental unit join together together to form okay so that is just it we have like three ways that we can see questions in dimension and dimensional analysis there are three ways the first aspect of it is when we will be given uh, a, 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 a parameters and whereby we will be uh, given their dimension I will be asked to, to, to check the powers in those dimensions. To check the powers in those dimensions. So we use that. For example, if we are being given uh, F equals to equals to M and T. M and T, where we have the X, Y, and Z. Okay, I told you we can see that. L stands for mass, L stands for uh, length, and T stands for time. Right? So this, let's assume this is F now. So we are going to give F to be L raised by S, Y raised by Y, and T raised by Z. So what do we do? We we just record that the, the dimension is unit of force. I told that unit of force, when, if we want to consider dimension, is no more Newton. Yes, it's not Newton, but what? Kilogram meter per second squared. So that means we just say that F, the unit is kilogram meter per second squared. Okay? So by dimension, we have F is equal to M, L, T minus 2. So our S from the question is S equals to 1, Y equals to 1, and Z equals to minus 2. Z equals to minus two. So you can see what we have here. You can see. Let me give another question. What is the value of S, Y, Z? What is the value of S, Y, Z? In what is the value of S, Y, Z? In P equals to M, and T, we have the X, Y, Z, where P is power where P is power. Now, what we just need to do is, we just record that uh, power, there are some times that we cannot quickly get the dimension of the unit. You just record the power, power the, uh, is, is what? The what is not an, uh, is, is the name of person. What is the name of person. So, the original unit of power is what I'm going to give you now. So, Power, we can quickly record that power is called the work done over time. Work over time. Okay? So, and our work is called the first time distance. Okay? First time distance. I told you that first cross is kilogram meter per second square. And distance is also length. So, which is times m. 
over s. Okay, I've already taken them to the unit. So L times M, we have an M squared. So that means power is kilogram meter squared per second kilo. Kilogram meter squared per second kilo. So our S, Y, Z, so let me take kilogram will be M, then meter will be L raised to a 2, and our S is minus 3. So S equals to 1, Y equals to 2, Z equals to minus so that is just it. Let me give more. More advanced. What is the value of what is the value of what is the value of A, B, C in, in the dimension of E equals to M, A, M, B, C, C where E is energy, where E is energy, where E equals to energy, E equals to energy. I don't recall that energy is what? Energy is can be mgh or 1 over 2 mv square. So energy E is equals to mgh energy. Don't forget that all energy have the same unit. So MGH or what? Or 1 over 2, 1 over 2 M V square of kinetic energy. So they have the same unit. So we noted that our M is in kilogram. M is in kilogram. G is acceleration. Acceleration due to gravity. Yes. Acceleration due to gravity, and acceleration due to gravity is meter per second squared. So, and our h, which is the height, is also meter. So, you can easily see that e is equals to kilogram m times m over m squared. So, our dimension, dimension of energy is m l to z minus two. So, which will give us e, uh, sorry, a equals to 1, B equals to 2, C equals to minus 1, minus 2. So, well, let, let me uh, handle all that one. Like voltage, look at voltage. Voltage, we use V, which is volt. Now the question that I invent uh, what I let me on the issue of voltage in volt, uh, voltage is or potential difference is volt. The man called volt. And we use voltmeter for it. So but volt is not the original unit of our potential difference of voltage. It's not the original unit. So the original unit is what I'll give you now. Don't forget that EMF, electromagnetic force, is, is energy divided by charge. The energy divided by what? Charge. So EMF is also voltage. EMF is potential difference. Electromotive force, which is equal to energy over charge. Over charge, which is equal to joule, because energy is in joule, it's joule. I'm uh, sorry, energy is E, so energy is the name of person, uh, joule, sorry, joule is the name of person, and uh, we have its own unit, we have its own unit, which I'm giving you. So joule is also SI unit, you can also use it. But if you are talking about dimension, you can't be using the name of those scientists. Yes. So. Charge Q. Charge is Q. So I told you that energy is the what? Uh, uh, okay. Energy is MGH over Q. Q is equal to IT. Q is the quantity of charge equals to IT. Equals to IT. So 
we shall now get a loop of the, the dimension. So L, the, the LGA I gave you before is uh, kilogram meter square per second square. So the uh, EMF which is voltage, EMF which is potential difference of voltage equals to I have a kilogram meter square per second square over a, a I is ampere, which is A, which is A, and A, A, T is seconds, T is seconds. So this S, this, the last one here, yeah, to go up, when you get the last one plus one, when you get the top, you become minus one. So uh, you know, anyone that have the same, that they are the same, is going to add or subtract their power. So this will give us kilogram meter square per second cube per, uh, uh, per uh, ampere. Ampere is for current. So the dimension E, the dimension e for EMF, is equals to M, L raised to power 2, T raised to power minus 3, and uh, our A is in the same A. So this is the dimension of voltage. Dimension of voltage. So we can also have dimension of resi resistance. Dimension of resistance. Dimension of resistance. Resistance. Find the dimension of resistance. I said it is the first aspect, the first way of giving I'll give a question on that dimension. We can also have the second way, we can have the third way. Alright? So resistance R equals to V over I. Resistance R equals to V over I. And I told you that V is voltage, which is equal to what? Kilogram meter square per second cube per second cube and uh, ampere. So by the time we substitute here, resistance is equal to kilogram meter square S minus 3, 3 minus 1 over what? Over our A. So the A here, the power is 1. We do not see anything on any parameter then. 1 is 0. So by the time we take the 1 here, it become, and then when you come in, it become minus. It's plus one, it become minus it. So R become kg meters to S minus C. So dimension, uh, unit of resistance. The dimension of resistance is R equals to M L to C raised to minus 3 